something just came across my desk that has actually been happening for almost two years, but it seems now the investigation is done and prophecy has been confirmed, fulfilled. Why they need to take so long is beyond me, but it's nice to know that they finally confirmed it. But for those of us that study prophecy know the minute something happens, it's obviously a fulfillment of prophecy. But for centuries, atheists and Bible haters have declared Ezekiel was a false prophet because of something the Lord said to him regarding the region where Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed and what was to happen in that region in the last days of Earth's history. In this region is a sea that was once called the Lake of Sodom or the Sea of Sodom. Today, it's called the Dead Sea due to the fact that its salt content is so high, nothing could live in it. The prophecy is as follows. It's in Ezekiel 47, verses 8 and 9. It says that, Then he said unto me, These waters issue out toward the east country, and go down into the desert, and go into the sea, which, being brought forth into the sea, the waters shall be healed. And it shall come to pass that everything that liveth, which moveth, whithersoever the rivers shall come, shall live. And there shall be a very great multitude of fish, because these waters shall come thither, for they shall be healed, and everything shall live whither the river cometh. Now check this out. Is biblical prophecy being fulfilled? Life continues to flourish in the Dead Sea, and this is why they waited, I think, almost two years to uh, acknowledge the fulfillment of the prophecy. But uh, the article goes on to say that the existence of fish in the Dead Sea a reality that seems to contradict the laws of nature, has been explained by science and biblical prophecy alike. Hundreds of researchers and universities have chimed in on the reasons why the Dead Sea is reviving. But this is no scientific miracle, said Bedin. It's biblical prophecy becoming true. Thank you for watching. God bless.